Hi there, I'm Lean, and this is the fifth video in the Electronics Test Workflow series, where I'll be digging into the different parts of the workflow. In the last video, we put three tests together in an auto-scheduled sequence. Now in this video, we're going to debug and monitor the test sequence while it's running. Okay, so this is the test sequence uh, that we showed and ran in the last video where we showed the auto schedule of running. Now I want to pose a scenario this time around, which is, you know, you've been running a test for, for an hour and something goes wrong. Uh, the last thing you want is for the resources, the instrument resources to be blocked where you can't dig in deeper to debug and monitor what's happening. Your ideal scenario is if, you know, something goes wrong in the filter test, while, while the test sequence is running, you'd want to see the results of the filter test and maybe even see the results, uh, the raw data on the scope. So we're going to try to simulate that happening by adding a breakpoint right here. So we're going to force test stand to run through this, the test steps and then stop at the filter test. And we're going to show you that because we're using Instrument Studio Pro plugins, how we can have access to the data so that we can debug and monitoring while the test is running. Now, so that we don't have to do this four times across four dots, I'm just going to change the number of test sockets so that it's just testing the first unit under test there. So I'm going to press run. And as always, it's going to ask me to fill in some info. I'm going to keep it blank for now. And it's going to very quickly uh, run through, well, it did it, it's reached the filter test and now test stand stopped and is waiting for me. So what I'm gonna go do is go down to the step settings and right here, click on this Instrument Studio logo and it's going to open up that um, measurement plugin, that custom measurement plugin in Instrument Studio. And before I go back to test stand to run it, I'm also going to open up my oscilloscope view so that when I do run the test, I can come back here, see the raw instrument data, see what's happening on my scope, and as well see the results of the filter test. So now that this is ready, I'm going to go back to test stand, resume and quickly go back here. I'm immediately seeing the results. So I get to monitor what's happening. Uh, on the filter test, it's gonna wait and wow, that was quick. It, it took in the latest run from test stand and showed me the results. And test stand just finished running through the whole sequence, uh, all three tests on the dot. So here we can see that the filter test ran as expected because nothing is actually wrong, but you can imagine how this would be useful for a very long test uh, where you want to be able to you know, debug and monitor as the test is running. So if you've watched all the videos in the series so far, we've walked through the hardware setup created custom measurement plugins that can be published and shared, put these tests into an auto-scheduled sequence, and we've shown you how we can debug and monitor our test as it's running, all while highlighting how you could reuse code and work with different programming languages. Thanks for joining us in the series where we essentially built an automated test system together. Reach out to us to build your custom test system today. Thanks.